I think it's unfortunate that Canada chose such a public route. And matters should be discussed behind closed doors. Going public, making a statement in Parliament and so on was very unfortunate. They have really jeopardized the state of a very good relationship. The government of Canada has provoked such a, such a deterioration in what was otherwise a good relationship. No! I think it's unfortunate that Canada chose such a public route. If these matters should be discussed privately with a friendly government like India. They have really jeopardized the state of a very good relationship. The government of Canada has provoked such a, such a deterioration in what was otherwise a good relationship. Tit for tat on both sides, first on the expulsion of a diplomat, then on this advisory. Canada does it first, India reacts. I think it's unfortunate that Canada chose such a public route. If at all they have any issue, these matters should be discussed privately with a friendly government like India, and matters should be discussed behind closed doors. Going public, making a statement in Parliament and so on was very unfortunate by the Prime Minister, and having gone that far, now I think we have really, they have really jeopardized the state of a very good relationship, which was not only a secure relationship, but one where people-to-people -people contact was very soundly established. It's most unfortunate that Canada has behaved in this manner. It's already, it's already damaged, already become quite embittered by comparison with what it used to be. And uh, it's most unfortunate that the government of Canada has provoked such a, such a deterioration in what was otherwise a good relationship.